very good morning. Welcome to Chart Busters. We're going to highlight all the buzzing stocks today and also get you a trade on the Nifty. As we speak, the Nifty is bounced back. We are above the 10,900 odd mark. A big, big recovery is what we're seeing. The crucial factor, can we get past the 10,950 to around the 11,000 mark? It's expiry. So remember, the bulls and the bears, they're going to be in quite a tussle. But safe to say, I think, given that we have just two trading sessions to go, uh, the bulls will believe they can defend the 10,800 mark, at least in the near term. Absolutely, 10,800 and now they're eyeing the 10,900 mark, Nigel. You know, I was just looking at a couple of options and 10,900 put, that has come in for a fair amount of writing just as we speak in just the last one hour. 13 lakh shares being added out there for a premium of close to around 40 odd rupees. So 10,850 to 10,900 is where the support comes in. On the other side, the 10,850 call writers, they're packing their bags early in the morning. About two and a half lakh shares shed in open interest. Yesterday, the FII is worse in index futures so let's see whether there is case for more short covering or not but the mid cap index that is where the most action is 250 points higher there uh, uh, like like the recent uh, rap movie the mid cap index bulls would be perhaps <laughs> saying both hard both hard well, yeah exactly <laughs> Mangla, and both hard i think is with regard to uh, you know the cement stocks as well india cements is up nearly around six percent dot but you need to uh, keep in mind that uh, both soft with Abela, na? <laughs> the stock had come down from around 220 all the way to around 80 rupees. So India Cements is moving to the high point of the day. Cement prices in South India have moved higher. So that's uh, good news. Hopefully it sustains and uh, some of these stocks will gain. All right, on that note, we will wrap our headlines fairly <laughs> fast. I mean, this is the IT stocks. They're under pressure with Wipro being the biggest loser on the Nifty. Credit to his downgrades. The stock to underperform from neutral says that uncertain global macro poses some risks to FI21 assumptions for the entire sector. And more banks are out of the PCA. RBI removes Alabad Bank, Cooperation Bank and Dan Lakshmi Bank from the prompt corrective action list. Alabad Bank tells NBC TV 18 they have targeted recovery and upgradation of 2,000 crore rupees in quarter four. We'll be cautious in lending till the first quarter of FY20. Dan Lakshmi says that they will look to improve low cost deposit share to 35% in FY20 from around 31% right now. Max India sees profit booking, board approved selling 51% stake in Max Bupa. Health insurance to True North. Max India will sell the entire stake for 510 crore rupees and will complete Max Bupa stake sale in FY20. Solid bounce is what we are seeing uh, on the Nifty. Coal India is a stock as well that's moving higher. From yesterday's low, the stock has gained a goodish bit. I think it went down all the way to around 210 rupees. So remember, the numbers were really, really good and the stock didn't really react. The stock was at 225 rupees on the day that it came out with a really good set of numbers. Sustainability of these numbers now is going to be very, very crucial. And importantly, can the sales volume recovery come about? Last month, it hasn't been too great. Uh, Valuation-wise as well, supportive. You have 8 to 9% dividend yield that's supporting the stock. And even in terms, you know, in comparison to historical averages on an EV upon a beta as well as on a PE basis, it's trading at a bit of a discount. E-auction volumes and overall sales volumes are going to be extremely crucial going ahead as well. That's about Coal India. How do you trade the Nifty from here? Ashwini Gujral joins in. Hi, Ashwini. Good morning. If someone bought the Nifty, where should their stop loss come in at? And at 10.30 a.m., what's the trade now? Yeah, I think we're getting a trending move with, uh, you know, uh, banks today outperforming. My sense is that we should get past this uh, 10, 950, 970 zone. You can possibly buy even uh, today. The stop should be uh, 10,900 uh, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. The good news is that uh, uh, mid caps are uh, fairly strongly participating. And that just gives uh, the market a better feeling while, uh, you know, crossing key resistances. So this is what is different uh, in terms of the previous uh, uh, few rallies that we've gotten till here. Uh, I believe something seems to have changed yesterday because uh, you know there seems to be a lot more confidence in the market. Maybe it's uh, you know some change in election dynamics. Mm. Having said that, individual stocks, uh, Havels is a buy with the stock of uh, 700, target of 725. ACC is a buy with the stock of 1400, target of 1455. And Raymond is a buy with the stock of 760 target of 795. All right, fair point there, Ashwini. You know, a lot of these heavyweights are moving higher as well. We have something like an LNT at the high point of the day. Uh, the last bit of a move on the Nifty is probably courtesy ITC, which is currently at the high point of the day as well. What would your disclosures be? I reckon it'd be long. Yeah, we are long uh, on the Nifty options. 
for March of uh, uh, 10,800. All right. Thanks a lot for joining in. We will keep coming back to you through the course of the day. With that